It is Burmeister at her center. Motion man is Freeman into the backfield. This is a team that rushes the ball on average of 50 times per contest. Just love the angles he takes. Very heady player in the back end for Washington. To Freeman again, not going far at all. Taken down to the 30 in a blowout win at home against Utah. On play action, keeps it himself. Has the first down. And it's taken down to the 40. Good run by the troops. This is a running quarterback. This is an athlete playing the position. Sticks the belly right there in Royce Free, uh, tricks the football right in Royce Freeman's gut. The defensive end takes him. Pretty easy read for Burmeister. Gets the defense. So Mitchell in motion. The pass right away to Nelson, the leading receiver. Get the edge, throw those bubble screens as we saw on the previous play. But if they can push, take a few shots deep, it'll loosen this defense up. Quick throw back out to Nelson with a stiff arm, tries to hurdle, stays on his feet, gets to midfield before he is absolutely crunched for a true freshman or even a senior to play in here on the road at Husky Stadium. On the ground, Freeman trying to turn up field. He does, gets a first down. This is an impressive looking opening drive for the Ducks. His toes and you can't just pin your ears back and go after him. To pass, complete. Over the middle, close to a first down. Tony Brooks James lined up in the backfield as well. It is Brooks James. No nope. play action. They fake it. They keep it on the ground instead to Burmeister. Gap sound defense. They swing it out to Freeman out of the backfield. Freeman going nowhere. He was pushed back. Freeman trying to chug to the 20. 11th play of the drive for Burmeister and the Ducks. Burmeister rolling, eyes downfield, now tucks and runs. The longer he holds this pass, and he's looking downfield, he's trying to see if there's a pass open, but as he's surveying the field, he's still moving forward, and then realizes, hey, I can just take this for the first down, and does. You'll see Oregon do that if you need. They give to Nelson. To Freeman's got a hold, and then is suddenly clogged and met by Vita Vea once again. He hands the ball off to Royce Freeman. Watch him, he's running and he's going full. So that, that just that split second, the defensive end, the linebackers, they don't know if he has it. That's a nice little hole created there by the offensive line. I mean, this this all. Bring Nelson in motion. Burmeister keeps and is smothered. Rush it on, on multiple third downs. They start in an empty formation. Motion the receiver running. Chris Peterson looking for his second career win against the Huskies' vicious rival, the Oregon Ducks. On the ground to Freeman. Freeman turns up field. Freeman along the sideline and finally lassoed out of bounds. In power at which Royce Freeman has. To Freeman again. Ducks all time leading rusher. Bulldozes his way near a first down. Really backbreaking loss for Oregon last season. They've been thinking about that game all offseason. Freeman's got enough of the first down. Keeps chugging forward, and it takes a host of Huskies to what they need to get done. Can I Benoit his first touch? Straight up the middle, not going too far. Oregon's got the pick. The Huskies have the point. Running upfield past the 30, the give to Tony Brooks James. Oh, here. They throw it out to Nelson. Nelson. With a three man bunch down here at the bottom of the screen. To Benoit. Stays on his feet and then is clutched by a duel. The ball is loose. Going the other way. The area, the linebacker chugging down the sideline. He is running out of steam. And then with the defense, here's a look at the lit, the hit. Oh, he is. The ball was loose. Great job stripping it. Seems like Washington will need to stay un, or not undefeated, but should run the went table. Out. Went out. You're right. Want to keep those dreams alive? Complete near the sideline to Dylan Mitchell. You get knocked off. Said McNeil in motion. 
Freeman pushed back. Freeman dropped. Watch number 17, Tevis Bartlett coming off the edge here. I know it was quick, but he comes off the edge. He dips, rips, sets. I could have guessed it. Maestro have the draw. Not going anywhere. Big games. Squatty can move, has two guys, fights off a double team, makes the big third down stop. No. Oregon had that fantastic opening drive, 15 plays that ended in a field goal, and a fumble the next time on the field, and then consecutive three and outs. I'm realizing Burmeister probably not going to throw it too much. They give the Freeman once again, as a whole, crunch. Last run again is six. Dropped, and Freeman is able to get on top of it. Most of them were on the first drive. You're right. Best starting field position for the Ducks as Freeman picks up a nice chunk down for his down. playing once again without Justin Herbert, the sophomore quarterback. Swing it out quickly. This time Freeman catching a pass. With a pump, looking deep. Tons of time. Tucks runs, has it up for the first down. Situation on a very obvious passing down when you need to get seven or more yards. But I do like what I see in Burmeister saying, hey, they're playing soft cover zoo zone. I got no chance for the deep ball. Let me tuck it and run it. He had dropped beyond the sticks. So Burmeister had the open grass. Give to Freeman. Freeman sheds one tackle past midfield. Good gain on first down. Good time uphill battle for Oregon's offense. First play of the game last week versus UCLA unblocked. It's just unheard of. You think you can unblock it? Not get a hat on him. Mitchell in motion here on third and six. Pocket beginning to collapse. Burmeister scrambling. Flush will be tuck it again. Trying to put a move on. Not nearly enough for the first down. He's pushed up. Johnson in the driver's seat. Ducks going for it on fourth and four. They have not been good going for fourth down so far this season. Burmeister to the air. Into triple coverage. It is knocked in the air and nearly intercepted. The season countered that with 14 touchdown passes. 43 seconds to go in the first half for Oregon. Burmeister, some pressure coming. Rita Vea chased it after him. Incomplete collision. Not human. <laughs> Backfield empties out for Burmeister. For the drop. Burmeister, hard tackle. Freeman on third and two. Freeman able to... Ducks first drive of the second half. They bring Freeman back into the backfield. Freeman closing in on 100 yards on the night. And now Burmeister, the true freshman, getting the start on the road here in Seattle. On the ground once again. This is the nation's second best run defense. Mitchell in motion. They throw it out quickly to Nelson. Nelson has been the consistent pass catcher. One half. You get seven here, then you can continue with that ground and pound. To Freeman. Huskies held Freeman last three games combined against Udon. Next sweep to Freeman. It's out of one tackle. Cannot get out of it. Now, like this, why Oregon's doing a lot of the same concepts. And Washington seeing it coming. They're reading it correctly. And they're coming like he'll be on pace for fifth. An unprecedented streak, as you can imagine. On the ground, Tony Brooks James. Not touched the ball much so far. Now, the biggest storyline of this one entry, the biggest question mark, maybe a better way to put it, but Justin Herbert get the start, nearly intercept. It's a motion. The pass on third and two. Stepping up, tucking. As the first down has just it up. Stiff hit that time by Connor O'Brien. Back of the ground, Brooks James. Good run on. Remeister seven for ten through the air. Brooks James near the foot. 
Freeman returns to the backfield. He gets the carry. First down flag comes in. Holding number 27 of the offense. 10 yard penalty. Third down will be repeated. Freeman's up here at the top of the screen. Working on Tevis Bartlett. Just grabs a hold and pulls him down. Two seconds to get the snap off. And it's fumbled again. And once again, Burmax 3278. They're on the scene to make sure he's not going anywhere. Again, fumbled snap on third down. To Brooks James. Upfield. Good run on first down. Back. I'd really get kneed in the head than hurt my own guy. Again to Tony Brooks James. Has the first down. Can't. Burmeister to pass. One of the most aggressive throws on the night. Incomplete ball away. He's really seen some increased playing time. The secondary a little banged up. Iron Murphy the broken foot. Must be hoping he comes back soon. Gang tackling. The loss of two. There's nowhere to go. Washington defense kept them corralled and see what they choose to do here. Third and long. They want to get some stats. Come after him. Burmeister, pretty clean pocket, at least for the time being. It starts to close. Burmeister tipped up and dropped. Love this kid. His football instincts, the angles he takes the ball. This is just a pure effort play. If you look at Taylor Rapp here, look at the closing speed. He had to shake the, the left right hand. Is how you can help. For the Ducks, 13. Burmeister throwing high, incomplete. A stick on the ground. Freeman. Freeman's had a success out here. You try to keep a couple vets in there to kind of hold things together. Burmeister keeps it. Has a big hole, stays on his feet. And from behind, ball looked like he came loose, but it was his popular thought that he would be under center tonight. It wasn't a given by any means, but I think it was probably a surprise to many to see Burmeister get the start. It's probably fair to say. Lobs this, and it is intercepted by the Huskies. Teams ahead of the Huskies to lose. Penn State, impressive win. Number six, Ohio State, not only losing, but just demolished. And Iowa City, we saw that a moment ago. Of course, not yeah. there. No, they're going to jump. I bet the committee has them up around up to six five. or seven. I mean, I believe they should. Yeah. I don't know if they put them up. I can see eight. No, maybe. the committee, man. They'll put them. I think they can go to six or seven. I guess if I was <laughs> really trying to <laughs> if top, pander. Top Danny. Really trying to pander with them. But yeah, I could see them easily being eight or nine. Oh. Anybody. Like, you their mean schedule this season. is light. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they look the part. They look, they look great. But their resume doesn't stack up. Their Bro. resume can get so much better. Mississippi State next week. They got Auburn and then they have SEC Championship game. If they win out, they're the number one seed. Yeah. Now, Danny, you had Notre Dame in your top four. Yeah. Well, third and four for the Ducks. 